When designing a board, Hyperlite comes to us and say, how do you want a board to ride? And I've been doing this for over 17 years with Hyperlite. I want to create something that not only I can take right out of the box and ride it out of Pro Tour, um, but I also want to have something that uh, the first time user can take out. I create a board that's super user friendly. So some of the features that I do to do that, we've got a three stage blended rocker, which means that the board from tip to tail has one continuous rocker, but as you get just about to where your feet are on the board, that rocker is gonna accelerate a little bit. What that does is that when you get to the wake, it's gonna give you that little bit more snap. So the thing that uh, sometimes three stage will do is it'll have a big flat spot, and I didn't wanna do that um, because I wanted to have a continuous landing board, which means a softer landing board. Some other features you're gonna see on my board are the dual tunnels, tip and tail. What that does is that keeps that water concentrated in between the two fins. So as you're pushing off that wake, as you're pushing off the ollie, that water is gonna stay contained within that area rather than pushing away, allowing a lot more snap. Um, as you go up into the center of the board, you're gonna see that it actually has a real slight spine to it. What that does for us, it basically creates soft landings. The way that it does that, think of a spoon if you flip it over and you smack the water. That water is not only gonna go out from underneath that, creating a very soft landing, is if you take that spoon and just barely turn it off to the side and then you hit the water, it's going to wanna find equal pressure, which means that that board, when it lands, if you're a little bit off, it's gonna help you out. It's gonna wanna find that, that center. So it's a very user-friendly board. One other feature that we do, the technical term is called a variable edge design, and what that is is we've got a very crisp edge coming from the tip and tail, and when you get to your feet, that, that edge is gonna turn into a rolled edge, which creates a very, very user-friendly edge. Um, very forgiving when you're coming down on landings, when you're sliding the board around, but yet when you're cutting around, you have that, that crisp edge taking control. You'll notice that I've got 0.8 inch fins on both ends. That means that I want just enough fin to, to stay on lock and, and I can cut as hard as, I, as hard as I can, and at the same time, if I want to butter the thing around, it's not gonna, it's not gonna trip me up. If you take the board, you flip it over, you're going to notice that the top deck has actually kind of this separate, smaller looking kind of board within it. And what that is, is it's got a couple things going on there. It allows us to put more rocker where you stand. The reason for that is because the farther your feet go out from underneath your shoulders, the more your feet actually want to stay at an angle just to work with your body structure, your skeleton. Also doing that allows us to take a little bit out of the tip and tail and we scallop away some of the, the board at the tip and tail. So we have a very thin profile up there, taking away from a lot of swing weight and allows me to spin that thing around as quick as I want. Two different ways to mount your bindings onto my boards. You've got the BioLite, which is a traditional insert pack. Um, it's gonna work with any of our bindings on there. And then if you go into the Stratatrack, that allows you to get exactly where you want. And I've actually found that since I've started using this, I. I really like getting my stance adjusted exactly, like honestly, to within a quarter of an inch it makes a difference in how I feel when I'm standing on the board. It changes the speed, changes how the board rides, um, so it's, it's a great feature and also adds some stiffness having that aluminum track sitting in there. The Murray Shave comes in two core options. We have our Nova Core and we also have our BioLite 3 Core. The Nova Core is a fully machined PVC core. It creates a, a lighter feel on the board and actually a snappier pop. If the Nova Core is not for you, Sean's board is also available in a BioLite 3 core. This core was developed a couple of years ago, a little bit lighter than traditional foam shapes, maintains all the durability that you want in a wakeboard, and it still has all the great ride characteristics you're looking for in the Sean Murray board. So for my graphics this year, pink, black, white, I'm not afraid, purple, I like it, you know, I'm confident enough. Rock purple and pink on my board, you are too. So if you guys are with it these days and have a smartphone, check out my board. It's got what we call the Microsoft tag and you can download the free app. Go ahead and scan that and it's gonna take you to whatever video we have playing. Um, might even take you here, so congrats for beating me to it.